Hey Potterheads, and welcome to another Pottercast. This is episode 31, and then we're going to talk about the wizard's age of maturity. Now, before we do that, we know that the age of maturity here in our world varies depending on what part of the world you're from. In our country, it's 18. In some others, it could be 19 or 21. But universally, as it would seem, in the wizarding world, it's 17. You'll be considered of age as 17 in the wizarding world. Despite the notable... That's right, despite the notable fact that you haven't left school yet. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, you're still in school, but you come of age as 17. <laughs> right, how's that supposed to work? Yes. That's the age you're allowed to use magic outside school, legally, and are considered an adult in the wizarding world. Technically, I think that's a bit flawed because how are you of age at 17 if you're still at school? Shouldn't that be two years after leaving Hogwarts you come of age, so... 19. Well, how about coming of age on par with those of us in Muggle Britain? In other words, 18. That is 17, and it's universal in the wizarding world. Because under that age, you are not allowed to use magic outside school unless it's a life-threatening situation or an emergency. Now, okay. At 17, you can also learn how to apparate which is their version of teleportation anyway i think that's all we can say about the age of maturity in other words legal age in the wizarding world so we'll leave it there and will join me on Monday as I believe it'll be time for some fun rather than just sitting here talking so i'll pick up a random book and read some lines from it and that's on monday until then mischief managed